India's defense ministry is on the verge of sealing a monumental deal worth 21,000 crore rupees to acquire 230 engines for the Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets. Not only will this maintain operational readiness of the Indian Air Force, but also boost the country's booming defense manufacturing sector. But what truly stands out is that the HAL or Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will be constructing the engines in India itself from raw materials into the final product. This showcases India's expertise in high-tech manufacturing, even as an indigenous jet engine remains elusive. This Sukhoi 30 NKI engine deal would go a long way in finding a long-term solution. The new engines will replace the older ones currently being used on India's 272 Sukhoi 30 NKI jets. By reducing reliance on foreign supply chains, Indian Air Force plans to keep its fleet of 272 Sukhoi 30 operational till nearly 2050. The deal for 230 engines is merely the beginning. India will need 950 of these AL-31FP engines to keep its squadrons fully operational. Sukhoi 30 is a twin-engine Russian-origin fighter jet and the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Thus, two engines per jet would be needed, including backup engines and spares, if India has to maintain its air superiority in the subcontinent. Under license production, the HL would produce the engines domestically. More than 80% of the components are manufactured by the HL itself. The Sukhoi 30 is truly a formidable aircraft and has a track record of excellence. It beat Pakistani air defences to bomb the Terra hideout in Balakot in 2019. Indian Sukhoi 30 tore apart UK's Eurofighter Typhoons 12-0 in military war games. These within-visual range combat drills were hosted by the UK in 2015. Earlier in 2004, the IF Sukhoi 30 achieved a 9-1 kill ratio against the American F-15s during exercise Cope India and in Gwalior. Now, given its history of success and beating the best in the world, it is easy to see why the aircraft is crucial for India's defence strategy. Apart from the jet engine deal, the plan is to convert these jets into Super Sukhoi under a massive 63,000 crore rupee upgrade project. The jets would be upgraded with advanced avionics, longer range missiles, modern electronic warfare suits, and longer range radars. The new indigenous Virupaksha ASAR radars will be especially useful as they reportedly boost long range detection 1.5 to 1.7 times as compared to the original Russian radars. The upgrade aims to elevate Sukhoi 30 into nearly a fifth generation jet in terms of technical ability, though it will lack stealth, which is a feature of the design and cannot be changed at this stage. These Super Sukhois will be equipped with manned unmanned teaming mode for co pilots to operate an armed wingman via a data link for deep penetration. This is truly a game changer in modern warfare. HL will enhance 100 jets in Phase 1 with nearly 80% Indian components, making it virtually an Indian jet and drastically reducing dependence on foreign supply chains. A deal for 12 new Sukhoi 30 MKI is also set to be signed to replace the ones lost in accidents or technical reasons. India faces an urgent need to maintain squadrons which are down to 31 compared to the operational requirement of 42 to face the possibility of a two-front war. The indigenous NCA variants, Tejas Mark I and Tejas NK2, will replace the older MiG-21s, Jaguar, Sepcats and Mirage 2000 by 2035. The exceptional LCA Tejas has already proved its metal going head-to-head -head and holding its own against the formidable Eurofighter Typhoon and French Rafale in Tarang Shakti 2024 war games. The German and French air chiefs then themselves took a sortie in India's lightweight fighter jet that punches above its weight. LCA Tejas MK1A deliveries will begin later this year, while Tejas Mark II will be inducted later this decade. Tejas is a testament to Indian scientists and their technical expertise. However, an advanced domestic jet engine has been elusive, which has also led to delays in delivery schedule. A potential solution lies in GE404 engines being manufactured in India with near 80% tech transfer. These engines would be used to power the Tejas MK2 jets for the Indian Air Force. The Sukhoi 30 and the indigenous Tejas will be the mainstay of the IAF fleet for decades ahead. Meanwhile, the 114 MRFA deal along with the 5.5 generation stealth AMCA would provide additional punch to the third most powerful air force in the world. So LCA Tejas or Sukhoi 30 MKI, which is your favorite IAF fighter? Leave a comment with your choice. And do remember to like and subscribe to InConnect News.